We uh, got together as a staff. I was, you know, watching last year while we were going through through uh, training camp and just thinking, uh, you know, it's just crazy going two practices a day. Just seemed counterproductive. Uh, you know, had just more guys standing on the sidelines with splints and crutches and all that kind of stuff watching than, than guys out there working. And uh, so uh, started thinking, brainstorming about how we could, uh, you know, get the most out of training camp uh, and not beat our guys up, but still be, you know, tough and be productive. So that's a, that's a tough balance. And so we started looking around the country who is not doing two-a-days, who's just going one practice a day. And uh, found out that Virginia Tech, you know, practices once a day. Now it's a, it's a full day. I mean, we've got three blocks where we're, you know, lifting or walking through and, and where we're meeting and where we're practicing. And it's a, it's a full day for the guys. I mean, it's 6.30 in the morning till 9.30 at night. Uh, but it's just one full padded practice uh, per day all through training camp. And uh, I was fortunate I had a, uh, Kevin Sherman's a friend of mine, the receiver coach, who were able to get their schedule and looked at that and tweaked it to fit our needs a little bit more. And, and so that's what we're doing. That's probably the biggest difference. Biggest thing we're doing as coaches different is, is our schedule, uh, the way that we're approaching training camp. Uh, and I, I think we're getting more production. They've done a good job. The thing that you got to do in that progression is teach them how to protect each other, how to go hard, how to go fast, how to be 100% uh, assignment sound uh, and physical without being uh, an idiot stick and, and hurting one of your teammates. You know, so uh, we went right from the beginning. You know, talking about not not shouldering a player, not leading with your head, and all those types of things that, that causes injuries and things you're not allowed to do anyhow. Once once the games get here, are you going to get a penalty? And uh, so worked that through even when we were just in helmets. And so that showed uh, our guys a progression. And when we were full pads yesterday, last night for the first time, uh, we really did pretty good with it. Uh, win would be nice. Yeah, that, that would be a nice one. Uh, you know, our guys, I really like our, our, our leadership. You know, our guys have had a, uh, you know, real sense of urgency about them. Uh, and I like how we were in the summer, you know, getting great reports from, from John Michael Davis and from the, from the guys, just a number of people working and, and uh, how hard everybody was working. And so, you know, really feel good about our senior class and their leadership and, and where we're headed. You know, there's been several, you know, Jordan Dalrymple has really stood out. Andrew Soucy has, has stood out. Uh, Chris Crack on the offensive side, you know, I think there's several guys that have, uh, you know, really shown great leadership and I think probably more importantly even than that is our guys have shown a, an individual accountability uh, to follow and to, to say things when it needs to be said and champion, uh, you know, what's right rather than who's right. It's not a popularity contest uh, with our guys when it comes to leadership, it's about, you know, uh, what is right doesn't matter who said it if they said hey we need to do this better or that better and, and that's right then I'm gonna champion that I'm gonna get behind that and that's what we've seen kind of collectively from from all the guys yeah I mean we saw that in the spring and it's and it's continuing uh, you know Jet Williams you know is a guy that you know nobody knows you know as far as on this uh, stat sheet from last year uh, you know who he is and he's gonna I think he's going to be like Rolandis Harris was last year for us, and I think Rolandis is going to go to the next level. And I think that's what you're going to see is every year with us redshirting these kids, you're going to see a new new crop of guys making a splash, and then the next year those guys that made a little splash are really major role players. So I think that's what you'll see out of Rolandis this year. New guy will be Jet Williams. Uh, another new guy, Anthony Brown, playing defensive end for us on defense side, playing really well. Uh, Xavier Foster uh, playing really well on, on the defensive side. Uh, red shirt freshman, uh, you know, there's there's several, you know, really there's probably too many to mention, but uh, Ichiro Chiba, another another guy. So there's just a bunch of guys that red shirt freshmen I think are, are really going to uh, be names that all of a sudden we're like, wow, where was that guy last year? You know, just the same thing all throughout camp, just that, that uh, we want to work on the fundamentals of football. We, we want to be better tacklers. We want to be better blockers. Uh, we want to play with, with an incredible passion. 
which was uh, you know one of the se the uh, the seniors got with our team and, and, and uh, made up team goals, and that was one of the things that they wanted to play passionate, hard nosed football, and so that's that's something that we're trying to do every single day here in, in training camp, but. You know, it's the game hadn't changed in a long time. It's the people that block and tackle, their, their assignment sound, that hustle. You know, those are the guys that are winning football games, and that's what we're trying to do.